All right, this meeting has officially started for our new Kingdom Hearts project. Let us all welcome the great Tetsuya Numura, who will be the spearhead for this operation or this whole new world. <laughs> we should see. Let's get this out of the way. Hate him, really get sad. I really want to see this boy suffer. I like this one. I like this one so much, I think I'll not him. Oh, uh, sir, what's a- It's a surprise tool that'll help us later. And what about the third main character, sir? I don't, I don't, I don't see anything here. Am I, am I looking at air? Are we all, are we all seeing just air right now? Do you already have a plot written out? Out, sir? Do I ever? So they all live on an island. Oh, love it. Very wholesome. Perfect for a Disney game. And then we destroy it, sir. And we have this guy destroy it. Who? Who is? He's a surprise tool that'll help us later. Uh, but sir, they don't have a home. Not to worry. I've made this one into a birdhouse and this one into air, air to be absorbed by Sora. What happens to Sora? He gets adopted by Donald and Gooby, of course, with his home destroyed and his friends missing. He has no choice but to become an experiment baby for these freaks of nature. Uh, and why are they there? <laughs> why are they that? Of course they're there because because the rat, the rat is missing, and he said so. Next, who introduces Sora to the Keyblade? Squall, of course. From Final Fantasy? Sir, you can't you can't just use Final Fantasy characters. Fine! I'll use Leon then. Who's Leon? Squall's new name! Sir! And let's get Yuffie in there as well. I always liked that one. W why do they want the Keyblade? Because their worlds also got bingle bongled, obviously. I see. And then Doral and Ruby tell Sora he can never be sad in their mobile home, so he's as emotionally stunted as possible. I isn't that a little. Alice in Wonderland! Alice in Wonderland! Good, we're finally introducing the Disney worlds! And we kill Alice! Sir! Alright, fine, we don't kill her, but she does go missing! You're taking Alice out of Wonderland? She's going down a different rabbit hole. The Nort Hole, if you will. Who is this Nort thing? I have no idea. But not to worry, because Sora will meet with Hercules to become stronger. Excellent idea, sir. Except Cloud Strife is out for blood! Another Final Fantasy character? And he tries to kill Hercules! Sir, you can't kill Hercules! I can do what I want! Cloud is fucking crazy and so am I. But why does he want to kill Hercules? Because Sephiroth! Sir, you can't! Fine, because Hades is using him! That's better. By withholding information about Sephiroth. I don't think we can animate all that hair. But not to worry because Sora saves him and shit. Good call. But Donald gets into a fight with his new son and Goober Snoober can't stop it. Oh god. Good thing Tarzan is there. Uh, sir, what about Sora's other friends? Who? The uh, the, the birdhouse and uh, air. Oh shit, right, all right. Well, they, uh, they run around the jungle and, and make note, I want this to be the most aggravating level, okay? I want everybody playing this to hate this level. The map has to be so confusing on this level. Sir, I want the players to want to kiss that dog on the mouth so they stop fighting and get off that godforsaken furry's dream world. Sir, you know, Tarzan's mom is kind of hot. Sir! But not to worry, because when Sora gets back, he finds Riku again. Oh, how nice. Except Riku is jealous. Of what? Of Sora's adoption papers, of course. You see, no one will adopt Birdhouse Riku. But the two of them are friends. Can't they work it out? It's too late! Riku has a mother now! Is that Maleficent? Maleficent, my beloved. She shall girl boss gatekeep and gaslight Riku into joining a cult. But this cult is a surprise tool that'll help us later. It's getting pretty confusing for a Disney game. Oh, you don't know the half of it. Next up, we steal Jasmine from Aladdin and put our freaky family inside a whale. Uh, what about the other character, sir? Riku? No, sir, the redhead. Ah, yes. Air. Oh, we can tell Riku show up until Sora he forgot all about her. Sir, I think you forgot all about her. Do not accuse me of things that I have done. I would never forget. Carrie! Kyrie. That's what I said! Well, do Sora and Riku team up? Absolutely! They leave things in a messy besties fight so Riku's new mom can gaslight him even further. I still don't understand why Maleficent can go to all these worlds. Then we'll fuck around with some fish and some ghosties, but shit gets really real when Sora meets Riku in Neverland and discovers his crippling darkness addiction. Sir, we can't have addicts in a Disney game. Too late! He be popping those pills three times a minute! Sir! And he challenges him to a death match in the Hollow Bastion. Where? Except when he shows up, Riku steals the keyblade and calls him a loser, and Gorby and Donald have to rip up his adoption papers and leave him to die. Sir? So you can't have Donald and Goofy abandon Sora? Why not? 
I mean, I was gonna have them slap the shit out of him first. Do you think that'd be better? Because there are heroes, and Disney won't stand for it. Oh, <gasps> fine. We'll have the Beast give Sora a pep talk, and then Sora calls Riku a noob and gets the Keyblade back, and Donnie and Jeffrey realize Sora is their one true son happy now. I mean, it's better. And then Riku gets taken over by Xehanort for power. Sir! And he stabs Maleficent! Sir! And you have to finish her off like an accomplice! Oh my god! <laughs> Seeker of darkness, a super sexy grown man whom I have a deep affinity for. That was oddly specific. And Caprian Kyrie was sleeping inside Sora the entire time, so he must kill himself to release her. Sir! And now he's a heartless. You're killing the main character? And Riku fights back with sexy handsome men and tells Chamomile to hold a beautiful funeral service for both him and Zora. You can't kill the main character. Oh, you guys are totally ruining my life right now. Fine, all right, Kylie can save him with magical princess powers. She's a princess? Yeah, sure. I'm sure this is very important and will be key to many things in this game series. Yes, I'm sure we will call back to this frequently and it'll be used as the key to many plot points, not forgotten at all. So they go back to Leon and we and we take a Winnie the Pooh break. In the middle of the climax? Look, these Disney execs are breathing down my ass right now. Yeah, that's fair. And Sora and Crystal joke about her sleeping in his little hot hotel with the others. Others? And she gives him a good luck charm and they free the seven princesses of heart. Uh, wait, sir. Yes? You just needed seven princesses of heart? Yeah, that's like the whole thing. Then why didn't you just take Ariel and her sisters? Her what now? Her sisters, there's seven of them and they're all princesses. Well, I'll be damned. You didn't even take Ariel. Sir, did you even watch any of these movies? What's there to watch? There's a fish who's horny for a man we've seen it a hundred times before. We have? So they free the princesses! You really brushed right past that one. And we discover who sexy, handsome seeker of darkness really was. And who's that? The heartless apprentice of a very boring man who stole his name! He's a heartless. Why does he look like a man? It's a surprise tool that'll help us later. He just keeps saying that. And you fight Ansem! Why is he shirtless? And you fight him again! Why didn't he die the first time? And then you fight him as a boat! Sir! And he opens the door to Kingdom Hearts! After all that? What Kingdom Hearts is light. Oh, huh. and it kills Ansem! That's a little extreme, but not for long. Sir? And then a naked Mickey Mouse shows up to help Riku close the door from the other side and trap them into a world of darkness. Why is the mouse shirtless? And Capybara Kyrie gets stranded on the island of Sora and his freaky family fade into obscurity. And then, that's it, that's the end. You can't end it there. I'm sure he means there'll be a Kingdom Hearts 2. Not until we play the card game. Sir! 